What is clean? Examples from kitchens at Edan. This video is designed to help tenants to understand what LU accommodation considers clean. There are many challenges when it comes to cleaning and cleanliness, both in private rooms and common areas. This video has been created to give examples of what LU accommodation considers dirty and clean and to give tips and instructions on how to clean them. The pictures in this video therefore mainly show cleaning issues or in some cases compare dirty and clean items. Tip. Start cleaning from the ceiling and work your way down. Ventilation. As shown in this picture, dust and grease can gather around the ventilation, which should be removed. Stove and oven area. The stove and oven area are particularly challenging for all tenants, regardless if you stay in a common area or a studio flat. Cooker hood. The cooker hood can become quite greasy, as shown in the picture to the left. There are grease stains on the glass. Use some fat dissolving detergent to remove this. You might need to do this several times if there is a lot of fat gathered here. Filter above the cooker. To the right you see a greasy cooker filter. Put the filter in hot water with some fat dissolving detergent to rinse out the fat. You might need to do it several times if there is a lot of fat gathered here. To the left you have a dirty cooker top with black rings around the hobs. To the right, you see a clean version of the same type of stove. Use the oven scraper to remove burnt food on the cooker if you have this type of stove. Other version of stoves, which do not have a glass top, should be cleaned with detergent and a scrub. Here we have an example of the front of the stove. The front side of the stove commonly becomes stained with grease, as shown in this picture. Use some fat dissolving detergent to remove the grease on the stove front side. You might need to do it several times if there is a lot of fat gathered here. Let's take a look inside the oven. To the left you have a dirty oven with charred bits of food at the bottom. To the right is a clean oven without any stains or spots. You need strong detergents to loosen burnt food or fat, especially inside the oven. Inside the oven, you can also use the oven scraper to clean some parts off. Tip! You can remove the oven rack holders on the sides of the oven to make it easier to clean the inside walls of the oven. This is what the sides of the stove can look like. As shown here, food and dirt often get stuck in between the outside of the stove and the walls surrounding it. Tip: To pull out the stove, first make sure that the oven is cold. Then put your hands inside the oven, lift from the oven ceiling and then pull. We are now viewing the space behind the stove. To the left here you can see a dirty area behind the stove. To the right you can see the same area but clean. Both the floor and walls should be cleaned behind the stove. Refrigerator. To the left you see dirty refrigerator shelves with brown stains. To the right is an example of clean shelves. The refrigerator can be challenging to clean, especially in a common area. The best way to do it is to temporarily move out all the food and clean all surfaces inside the refrigerator. This is the refrigerator drain. The drain in the refrigerator also needs to be cleaned. As shown in this picture, the drain can clog and brown water can start gathering. You can for instance use a chopstick to clean out any mold or similar that is blocking the drain. Freezer. The freezer should be defrosted around every three months. Turn it off and move out all food. You can place the food in plastic bags and place them on your table or on the balcony. This way, the food will continue to be kept cold and you can wash the shelves and drawers in the meanwhile. To defrost, turn off the freezer and open the door wide. Put towels or pots underneath to collect any water. Do not try to hack off ice in the freezer with any sharp objects. This damages the freezer. Microwave. To the left, 
A picture of the dirty inside of a microwave with a lot of brown and yellow stains. To the right, a similar view, but clean and without stains. There should be no fat or food spots in the microwave. Storage areas. As shown in this picture, there are stains inside the cutlery box. The easiest way to clean all the cupboards and storage areas is to empty out the content and place them on the kitchen table while you clean the shelves and drawers. Cupboards. To the left, dirt around the handle of the cupboards. To the right, clean outsides of the cupboards. Tip. Where have your hands been? Dirt will always scatter on and around handles on cupboards, refrigerators, etc. Recycling. The recycling receptacles can become dirty in themselves, both on the outside and, as shown in this picture, on the inside. Empty the receptacles of all trash and wash them in the sink with some dish, soap and a brush. Kitchen sink area. Remove everything on the sink top and wipe the area clean. Use your dish brush around the faucet and in the sink with some dish detergent. Tip. Make sure that you have washed everything you need to wash before cleaning the sink. Here we are looking at the area under the sink. Move everything out and make sure to clean receptacles and the floor under the sink. The insides of the doors usually also needs to be wiped clean. Table. Clean the table late in the process. It can be used as a storage area while cleaning refrigerator, freezer, cupboards and drawers. Windows. You don't need detergents for windows or mirrors. Clean them with water and later use paper or a towel to polish the glass. Balcony. It is easier to clean the balcony later in the process. It can be used as a storage area for food while cleaning the refrigerator and freezer, especially during the colder months. Floors. Floors both need to be vacuum cleaned and mopped to become clean. In common areas, this should be done often, at the minimum once a week since the area is used a lot. On kitchen plastic floors or tile floors, as in this picture, you can use soft soap, soapa, in the water used for mopping. This makes the cleaning a lot easier. Wooden floors should be cleaned with other detergents, specifically made for wood. Tip! Always clean the floors last.